Hey, how's it going everybody? Welcome back to Sword Art Online Rising Steel. So if we go through the little notifications, if you didn't see my last video, we have a new banner, which is the trick or party containing this Halloween Yuki. Now we're just gonna see if she's worth it or not. Now, if you do plan to pull on her, just remember anniversary is literally going to start probably like the 1st of November and there's going to be a lot of things. So honestly, I would recommend that you, you would save. This banner does last until the 8th, I believe of November, but I wouldn't blame you if you do pull on her and here's why so she has recollection feel she doesn't have enhanced mode she comes with a special animation with that turns into a halloween theme night it looks so cool i actually really like it a lot i like halloween there's also a pickup scout if you want to do that so she starts off with the 10 percent incarnate and 10 percent more if it's opposite enemy and also fills up the recollection field gauge by one or by step one if it's a, the opposite enemy which is cool it's like yugio she has a multi heal skill that also fills up the recollection field gauge that's pretty cool she has an assault that deals continuous damage now those are like okay but the thing that actually makes her like a little worth it even though you I, I recommend you'd rather save is because of this charge the enhanced charge which brings up your charging skill when you're trying to do your incarnate and of course her incarnate skill pumpkin stamp is a single magic hit deals more damage if they have continuous damage fills up to three steps and as you fill up the steps on the recollection field gauge your charge is actually a lot better so she is a really good charger specifically more for light element characters i really wouldn't blame you if you pulled for her she actually seems like a great unit to have for a charge mostly for light elements the other elements not as much we don't get too many characters characters with this enhanced the last character that actually had this enhanced charge was i believe it was shada the same banner as east Con. there we go that's his name if i recall i think he was she was the last character to actually have the charge yell but she also did crit up characters are actually pretty valuable if you don't have a character that has this i would recommend that you try and get her but if you already have other charge units you technically don't really need this yuki at least right now there's another thing to kind of help you just save up for the anniversary it doesn't really say anywhere that she is a limited character so kind of like the valentine's units we had last year with uh tisei and ronier she'll be back she'll be in the general pool so you can always get her then uh if you're feeling like spending money she'll eventually be in one of the those things where you spend money and you can pick whatever character you want that's also a good opportunity to get that yuki don't give in to the temptation anniversary so close this yuki does seem like really good for light units but they'll be even better units like really close literally really close. like what a week or two you can hold it in i believe in you so of course before we do our scouts i gotta show you her incarnate animation so here you go all right here we go we got the incarnate animation for trigger party this is my first time actually reacting or like seeing it, so I'm excited. Is that bread? Oh no, it's pumpkins. <laughs> I want, I kind of want to eat bread. That's a lot of pump. Where did you get those pumpkins? She looks cool though. Hey, it's a sonic ring. Oh, oh, you can hear a laugh too. That's cool. Yeah, I like the peace signs. You are, it makes you, now it feels like a Yuki unit just because of the peace sign. I like it. Well, hopefully maybe we'll get her on the first step. Who knows? All right, welcome back. Of course, before we actually do our step ones, I have to do what I call my bait scouts, which is basically just doing random scouts. <laughs> Mostly character ones because I don't believe like step one is really gonna get me anything. I feel like I'm just going to get shafted So I'd rather just get all of like that bad vibes out of the way. So when I do this, it's good <laughs> So oh, I forgot this from a login bonus is a guarantee weapon um, Not yet not yet when I'm when I'm feeling sad. I'm saving the rest of that for anniversary <laughs> Because I know I'm going to need my baits there. My bait scouts. That's going to be the... Even though I can only do one multi. But you know what I mean. Okay, we'll just do that. See, that would have been my step one. <laughs> Alright. Um, I have a boatload of weapons. So I might as well do one of them. I doubt I'd, I'd get anything now. It's blue, but that doesn't mean anything unless it's purple. Alright. Here we go. Yuki. <laughs> Come on, Yuki. Get, let's go in that step one in injury. I'm just doing step one, by the way. I'm not doing any more. As much as I would love to. I can't. <laughs> There's also a rate up if you're interested in that. So you just keep saying as long as you have a thousand diamond cubes, you'll be you should be just okay for the anniversary. So I'm trying to save as much as I can. As long as I have over a thousand, I should be I should be okay. <laughs> I at least I hope so. So come on, administrator. I I doubt it. We got Yujo last time. <laughs> so 
that's saddening. I actually wanted Yuki. I, I couldn't expect much though. At, at least I can kind of get some more diamond cubes later. Might as well do my guarantee weapon. I really need you just blue rose sword. If I can get one, I have my actual legit like R5 or max R4 weapon. That's not from the shop. It's a new weapon. Wait. This works too. I think I can max this. Oh my god, my first legitimate max weapon. Let's go. All right, of course, there is also a new event. I still have to work on ranking. We're still sixth place. Anyway, if we go through this new event, there are two bosses that we need to fight. One of them is a death worm curse, but for this video, I'm just gonna go against Dill. Now, for both of these battles, there are multiple enemies you have to worry about. I have this team here. I don't know why I, I brought her, Quinella. But I have the others because they're my holy elements. I brought Shada because she has the charge gel like Yuki. Hopefully this goes well. Let's do it. So she has two dark sorcerers with her. You need characters with like AoE <laughs> if you want to do this easier or like easily. Okay, so she has that. I typically like to get rid of it first. I mean, that's just what I do. I mean, you do what you do. Also, because this hits everyone. It's pretty nice. Pretty helpful. Um, okay, we still have a lot to worry about. For the time being, I'm just going to do this. And we'll just do this. So that way I can try to get rid of one. I mean, it's more I got to worry about the dill. Okay. Um, I want to get rid of her. She's not dead yet. Come on. <laughs> Go away. Okay, I'm um, very sure. Because so I'm going to use Xenon to do that AoE. And we should be fine after that. Is there two? Why is... That's weird. That is weird. <laughs> Just in case she doesn't die. Like, why is there two when there's only one left? Excuse me? Okay, she's going to do a lot of damage, isn't she? Don't kill Roni. She's dead. Okay, looks like I gotta come back. <laughs> God damn it. She's always disappointing me, Roni. Always disappointing me. Okay, what is she weak against? Uh, it's, it's just Holy Element. Okay, so we can just deal some nice damage here. Luckily, also, her Incarnate Skill puts up two of the Recollection fields, so that's nice. Oh, Roni is dead, huh? My healer's dead. That just hit me. <laughs> I should have. Oh no. Okay, I should have went to Terraria. Um, do I have another healer? I don't have another healer. So I have to deal damage now and then come back. And hopefully, with the turns, we'll also be good. At least that's what I'm hoping for. <laughs> God. <laughs> It just hit me that I have a naked person on my team. Thank you, Quinella. <laughs> Thank you. Um, for right now, we'll just give this to you because you might die. Yeah, I should have healed. That that just kind of hit me right now. It, it really depends on what she does next. Okay, that again. I don't have Ronye. Uh, <laughs> you're fine. You're fine. Okay, we'll bring you out. I really want to go to Terraria. Okay, we're going to lose anyway, so might as well just <laughs> deal damage now, leave and come back, which is also a pretty nice strat to kill things faster, I guess. 73k that's awesome it's still nice very nice okay we're just gonna attack i'm gonna take the l there's no way i can get rid of that break at least with quinella with this one turn only at least i don't think so roni is dead she was my only hope she should deal damage too such a strong unit on par with the, um, the holy elements all right now let's see how much she'll deal. <laughs> Please have like some slight mercy on me. I keep reading that as umbrella. What does she do? It looks cool. Wait, wow. Awesome. Oh no, my friends are dead. Oh no. 
<laughs> I love this. I have fun with my green screen. Okay, I'm gonna leave and come back. All right, we left, we came back, and as you can see, if you didn't know, uh, your progress is basically saved until so you beat it. Or her. Yeah. Um. So she goes again later. I feel like I should just straight up go for my incarnate. I desperately need a new wire. Okay, we're gonna go to this. We're just gonna straight up incarnate. We ain't wasting any time. We're going in. <laughs> and hopefully Quinella will will do will do something at least. Okay, we'll go here. Quinella. I'm pretty confident that Quinella can kill here. Especially with her attack up. Please don't disappoint me. There's three and it scares me a little bit. I'm trying to save turns too. That's why I'm going all in. Okay, I genuinely believe we can do it. Okay, yeah, yeah, for 39k, that has to kill. That's gotta kill. And this also counts for no one dying, so that's great. She's dead? Yeah. How much turns is that? 28. It's still under 30. That's usually what it is, isn't it? I'll take it. Yes. Now we can pick up more T-Say stuff. Oh, it comes with a new background. It's Halloween theme. Yes. Spoopy, scary skeleton. There's like no skeleton. It's still cool though. Anyways, I do got to end off this video here. Let me know what you guys think of that new Yuki. But thank you all for watching. I really do appreciate it. If you're new, why not leave a like and subscribe? Uh, if you enjoyed the video, why not also leave a like and all that? Also, I have a Discord at the bottom of the description. You can always click on it and join the Discord. But anyways, thank you guys for watching. My name is Kaz. Hopefully, you all have a fantastic day and hopefully the next video is either an anniversary or soon see you guys next time goodbye